I've said in, in the past that I think Indiana Jones is more about movies than it is about archaeology. It's about the fun you can have at a movie. It's about the emotional uh, exercise you can get at a movie. And, uh, and, and though we've made four uh, in the past, uh, this one has a, an air of finality uh, because it's my last uh, Indiana Jones movie. And I wanted it to, to, to uh, deal with the issue of age, of his advancing age, and what age has taken away from his uh, capacity, his, his uh, mental energy, his physical prowess, uh, and, and put him in contest with somebody, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who is uh, um, out to swindle him. And uh, so there's that, uh, the mental uh, uh, wrestling going on between these two characters as well. Really fun. Yeah, we I've, met in Jim's, in Jim Mangle's office, office uh, towards the end of the day. And uh, uh, I was quite nervous. And I was quite uh, thrilled uh, that uh, finally working with an ad actress that's taller than I am. It was a big thing for him. Yeah, it was a big, big thing, thing for for me. Actually, yeah. when I opened the door, he said, "My God, you're so tall." Yeah. And, uh, and I now, think you cried, didn't you? You cried with relief. I I, I would have height. cried had I known uh, what I was about to go through. I would have cried, but I didn't. I was uh, I was <laughs> thrilled uh, because I mean I had seen Phoebe in uh, in Fleabag. I was aware of the uh, range of her skill and talent. And I was thrilled that we, uh, that, uh, that we had a story that attracted her interest and that, and that I would have a, her as the partner in this film. And I had uh, grown up with Harrison Ford. <laughs> I'd, uh, the movies that I mean, witness the fugitive, <laughs> Blade Runner. I was walking into in the, behind that door were all of those movies when I was meeting um, Harrison. So it was a huge, hugely uh, exciting and quite intimidating moment. But like I say, the moment the door opened uh, and I saw Harrison, he did just go "Hey!" And from then on, um, I'd say we became firm friends. But uh, I'll leave it open to Harrison to see what he I, says about that. I, I feel so, and I hope so, yes. It was a barrel of fun. Uh, uh, you know, the, there's something about, I mean, there are a lot of different elements to the relationship between us, and there are moments of, uh, of, of seriousness, but there's also moments that the audience is meant to enjoy the banter between them, the contest between them. And I think it was well written, and I was delighted by having someone as adroit as she is with comedy and uh, um, and the mixture of comedy and real true emotion uh, to navigate this story with. Helena is Indy's goddaughter. He last saw her when she was twelve, and uh, he was very good friends with her father, who died not long after he last saw her. And she comes catapulting back into his life um, at a sort of, not even a crossroads, just sort of a cul-de-sac in his life. And uh, comes back with, she comes through the door with the, the joyful history of memories they had when she was young and he came to the house and visited her father. And she comes and tries to infect him with the idea of going on another adventure. But she is slightly more nefarious than she immediately, than she turns out than she wants him to believe at the beginning and uh, she has her own agenda and they end up going on on an adventure but not the one that she she proffered to him in the beginning she's she's a mercurial little rascal mm -hmm. uh, would you like to start well not smiling all the time <laughs> well, that was a note seriously it was a note that jim had to give me all the time just stop 
smiling. You're meant to be frightened. But I was like, but I know, but he's wearing the hat. <laughs> um, so that was a challenge. But also, the, you know, it's a very physical, it's a very physical um, experience and, and a very physical job. And even though it was challenging, it was such a joy to be able to, um, ex you know, throw yourself at that and be able to keep your character intact while you're being sort of flung around a set. Um, that was that was a challenge. But um, yeah, well, Ali, what are your, what's your answer to that question? What's my answer to that question? What's your answer to that question? Um, well, I'm surrounded by... Idiots. <laughs> no, a fantastic group of actors. Mads Nicholson. Uh, Phoebe, all, all of the all of the characters, Ethan. I mean, they're they're all so vivid and exciting. Uh, my uh, greatest challenge was uh, to keep up with them, actually, to keep up with all of them, or try to keep up with all of them, and to and to maintain, uh, you know the standards that they were setting well it's a, it's uh it's um both sad and happy i mean i'm i'm gratified that i had this wonderful opportunity to work with this character and these kinds of films with some regularity over the last 40 years and but i'm 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 ready to, to 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 I'm ready to conclude the story of the of the character. I think it's appropriate that that we do have an, uh, a story about Indiana Jones, which confronts his age, which confronts the 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 um, his mental state when we first meet him, and allows us to see him just picked up and brushed off and back in action uh, one more time. And I, I'm really gratified that we found, you know, a script, a story. Uh, and, uh, and then when Stephen uh, uh, brought Jim in, I thought that was fantastic. And I'm, I'm delighted with the film uh, altogether. It was a great, great experience.